dance. Let me see you dance moves. Boo, 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 boo. Do this. Do, 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 do. do the trolley. Do the, do the, I'm a fish. Not sure what that dance is. Do a fish dance. Do a floss. Woo. I can't do a floss. I'm sat down. Boo, boo, boo. Five more seconds of dancing. Woo, boo, boo. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Hello, everybody. And welcome to our first ever Kids Church Live. Did you like that? I love to sing. I am the best singer ever. It is so good that you have tuned into our first ever Kids Church Live Hero Factory, you are in for a treat. We have got so many things planned today, but also for the next couple of weeks, we've got challenges, games, stories, meet the leader, you name it, you are in for a treat. So sit back, relax, get yourself ready, and let's start Kids Church Live. <music> Game time, game time, everyone say game time. It's time for a game. So this game is called Do Not Laugh. Everyone say do not laugh. Do not laugh, do not laugh, do not laugh. Very good. So the aim of this game is we're gonna be playing a video and we think it's a pretty funny video. And what you have to do is basically, you are not allowed to laugh. If you laugh, we will know you are not allowed to laugh you have to keep your face straight and serious no giggling no smirking no smiling no nothing so what's going to happen is you're going to play the video and we need to make it to the end of the video without laughing okay are you ready everyone we need our serious faces <laughs> okay okay you ready serious face <laughs> Oh gosh, I don't think I'm going to be very good at this game. Okay, you ready? Three, two... What should we start again? Three, two, one, go. Serious face. the piano with your teeth and you have one at home please film yourself doing it and send it in and we want to show it next week because honestly a horse playing the piano with its teeth oh gosh i can't get enough of that that is so 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 funny okay give me a hands up where you are right now if you were able to watch that video without smiling or laughing or just grinning if you did then honestly i think you deserve a medal because that was hilarious anyway if you manage to play that game without smiling then good job you you earn yourself one point remember that because over the next couple of weeks we're going to be counting up our points and whoever wins the games and can let us know how many points they get could win some prizes Okay, hello everybody, my name is Norman News and I am reporting live today for Hero Factory TV. The aim of today is to inform you on all the news that you need to know because I am Norman News and I like to tell people the news because now is time for Hero Factory News because my name is Norman News. But breaking news everyone, everyone breaking news, breaking news. My name is Norman News and I have breaking news. Starting next week in Kids Church Live will be our new competition, Hero Factories Got 
talent. If you have a talent, if you can play the keyboard with your teeth, if you can dance while standing on your head, if you can eat a packet of biscuits in a minute, we want to see. Film yourself doing your talent, send it in, we will show it live to all the nation during Kids Church TV and if you win, and if you are crowned the champion of Hero Factory has Got Talent, then you could be in with chance of winning big prizes. That's news just in, people. News just in. Anyway, I have to go now. Norman News is leaving because she has some very important news to go and report on. Goodbye, everybody, from Norma, Norman News. <laughs>
strawberry milkshake because you never know when you might need your strawberry milkshake and I carry a, a cup because this cup is very handy when you need to help people and also I have a, a fork because you never know when someone might need a fork but but children I just want to tell you that we need to make sure we are helping other people we we need to make sure right now in our lives that we are always helping people because it's so good to help. We feel good and we help people and then they feel good and we all feel good and it's just so good to help. So yes, um, my name's Helen the Helper and uh, yes, I'm finished. Help people. Bye. Thanks, Helen the Helper. I loved having you on Hero Factory Kids Church Live today. Hopefully, maybe we could see Helen the Helper next week if she wants to come back and give us any advice on how we can help people. Who knows? So you see, Helen loves to help other people. Now, the next part of our story of Daniel is all about how Daniel needed to help somebody else so listen up stay tuned and keep watching the screen because we're going to watch the next part of the story of daniel but there's a person that you need to meet first before we get into that so the person that we're going to meet today is called king nebuchadnezzar i know it's a really funny word isn't it let's break it up so king we can all say king neb you kenezer can you say it after me neb you Keneza, Nebuchadnezzar, that's right, King Nebuchadnezzar. So we're going to meet King Nebuchadnezzar and see how he needed help. King Nebuchadnezzar started having strange dreams. The dream kept him up night after night. Huh? That same dream again? What could it mean? Minister! Minister! Coming! Coming, my lord! <sighs> <sighs> Did you have the same dream, my lord? Yes, I'm not able to sleep anymore. What do you want me to do, sir? Summon all the priests, the magicians, and all wise men in the country to my court tomorrow. Maybe one of them will be able to explain what my dreams mean. Head priest, who are the others? He is the best magician in our country. Long live the king. And he is the wisest man in Babylon. Greetings, my lord. What do you want to know? You can ask us any question. We have all the answers. Thank the gods. I have a very important question for you, magician, wizard, and wise men. Ask us, my lord. I had been having a very strange dream for many days now. All right, then. Tell me what it means. Sure. Tell us what your dream was. And we'll tell you what it means. Oh no! If you were so smart, first tell me what I dreamt, then tell me what it means. What? But, but... But it's impossible, Your Majesty. Yes. No one on the earth can do that. Only the God knows such secrets, and we are not gods. Friends, let's pray to God. He will definitely reveal us the secret about King's dream. Lord God of heaven and earth, all-powerful and mighty God, have mercy on us. Please tell us about the King's dream and its meaning. Daniel. Huh? Daniel, wake up. God, listen to me very carefully. That night, God explained the king's dream to Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar has a dream. And in this dream, he just doesn't know what it means. And he keeps having this dream night after night after night. He calls the magicians and all of the different people in the empire and in the kingdom to try and tell him what this dream meant. But he just, he just didn't know what it meant. Anyway... Daniel, Daniel heard about this dream. So he gets down on his hands and knees and he prays to God and he asks God to help him so that he can help the king. 
Anyway, he prays to God and God reveals and shows him what the king's dream is. Daniel goes to the king and he can tell the king what the dream is and what it means. Now, here at Factory, have you ever had a dream? Now, I'm talking about a dream that you have when you go to sleep at night. Now, I have had some scary dreams and I have had some funny dreams and I have had some really weird dreams. Just have a thing. What is the weirdest dream that you have ever had? The weirdest dream that I've ever had, which was really recently, was that my eyebrows, the hair on my eyebrows just kept growing and growing and growing. And in my dream, my eyebrows got so long that I had to basically brush my eyebrows back and wear it in a ponytail on my head. It was the weirdest dream ever. Now the king had this really weird dream and he just didn't know what it meant. But Daniel prayed to God and God helped him so that he could help the king. Let's say that again. Daniel prayed to God. God helped Daniel so Daniel could help the king. Now, we've been talking lots about how we need to make sure that we are always helping people. Last week in your Kids Packs, your Here to Help challenge was to help somebody in your family. It could be helping them with the dishes or with the, with the toys in their bedroom. It could be carrying something upstairs. God helps us in so many ways. So we need to make sure that we are always helping as well. But sometimes people might want help and we don't really know what to do. I know there's been times in my life when people have asked me for help and I just I just don't know what the answer is or I don't know what to do. But we need to remember the story of Daniel. You know what? We might not know what to do, but God can always help us. So if you're in a situation where you want to help somebody and you don't know what to do, we need to remember to stop and to pray and to ask God. And God will help us in so many ways. He might give us an idea. He might give us some resources. He might tell us what to do. He might speak to us in a dream. He might speak to us through someone else. God will give us what we need so that we can help other people. Now in the Bible, in a book called Jeremiah, everyone say Jeremiah. Jeremiah, this is what it says. Jeremiah 33 verse three says, call to me and I will answer. I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Now someone might ask you for help and you might not know what to do but we need to remember exactly what Daniel did. Daniel didn't know what to do and he didn't know what the dream meant but he went to God and God helped him. In our lives people might ask for help and we might not know what to do but let's remember exactly what Daniel did and what that Bible verse says, how if we call to God and if we ask him, he will tell us and he will show us and he will help us. So today's big answer is God helps me so I can help others. Can you say that again? God helps me so I can help others. Turn to the person next to you or just turn to your mum and dad and say, mum, dad, sister, brother, dog, cat. God helps me so I can help others. Do you get that? God helps me so I can help others. Say it backwards. Help others help. No, I don't think I can say it backwards. So here at Factory, we want you to remember that, that God helps you so you can help others. So that is it for Kids Church Live this week. We hope you've had a great time laughing at horses, playing the keyboard, learning about Daniel and the dream with King Nebuchadnezzar. We hope you've enjoyed meeting Helen the Helper and hearing all the news from Norman News. It has been a jammed, packed Kids Church. And of course, don't forget that if you want to enter Hero Factory's Got Talent, then you need to send that video in to us as soon as possible. And we will try and show them next week. Have a great week and we will see you really soon. Bye bye.